Hi, this is uh, Tyrone Harris, and this is uh, Drawing for the Beginners, video number one. And I hope that uh, uh, you like drawing. If not, but you've had a desire, well, this would be an opportunity for you to learn how to draw. Uh, I have been drawing for about 42 years, and I just love drawing. I find it to be very uh, stress relieving and relaxing and enjoyable. It's a great way to escape. And the product that you finish once you've learned the skills, it could, they can be remarkably beautiful pieces. Now, when I first started, I uh, started off drawing comic book characters. So what I'm going to do in this video is show you some of the work, not all of it, but some of the work that I have done over the years. And I'll go back to show, and show you some of my high school stuff. Now, this is going to be a class that is going to focus on pencil drawing, specifically portraits. But... I got started off with comic book characters, you know, when I first started. So I'm going to um, uh, show you some of those things that I did, just a couple of them. And then I'm going to show you some pencil drawings that I did later and then some current drawings. So I'll start with some comic book characters. Perhaps you've heard of Silver Surfer. So this is the one that I did back in 1982. And this is actually a scratch board. There's a sort of a t uh, clay type of surface here. And what you do is you airbrush black ink onto it. Then you put your design on it after it's dried, and then you scratch it off. This was actually the, uh, the uh, cover of, of a Silver Surfer comic book, and I just put the design on here and scratched it off. I really liked it. And this is a picture of, of Thor and uh, Odin. Odin's battling Thor, and uh, this is from a comic book as well. At this time, I was hoping to learn how to watercolor, so what I did is I drew this picture from a comic book, went over it with uh, ink, black ink, you know, and then I did watercolor, and I really loved how it came out. Uh, I didn't pursue the watercolor, though, but I just wanted to see what it was like. My love and passion has really been with drawing, and pencils and portraits in particular. So now let me show you uh, one of the first portraits that I did. Now this is back in 1982. This is my uh, uh, senior year in high school. This is a picture of, of Sugar Ray Leonard. It's from an actual a, a ring magazine, but it was a watercolor picture on it. And so you can see uh, that there was some shading skill there, but not a whole lot. I actually did it on watercolor paper, you know, <laughs> rather than just pencil drawing paper. So you, you can notice the texture really stands out of the paper. It really stands out there. But at any rate, uh, this is one where I was basically trying to shade with my finger. I wasn't using the stumps at this time. I was just using my fingers. I put pencil down and then just kind of smear around and uh, just do as well as I could. You know, but this was the first one, but my skill was not really that, uh, that far advanced, okay. And this is just a guy that I uh, made up in my, my senior year in high school. Uh, I don't know, you know, it's nobody in particular, just some guy I had in my mind. I just went to draw and see if I could do it without looking at a picture. So this is what I came up with. Uh, this is actually 1983, date's still on there. And you may recall the, the, uh, the series that came out back in the late 70s and early 80s, uh, The Incredible Hope with Luz Rigno. Well, this was in the magazine that I found, and so uh, I was really, uh, uh, I guess you can say, uh, just overwhelmed in a good way with uh, The Incredible Hulk. And I just love drawing the picture. I have comic book characters. I'm not going to show you here, but that I've drawn drawn of the uh, Incredible Hope. But this was one that I wanted to do in pencil. It took me maybe a couple of weeks to do it. But I really enjoyed the whole process. Okay, and here's a, a girl that I made. This was back in 1982 as well. And uh, I think that took me maybe about four hours to do. But you can see, you know, the eyes, the values, the highlights around the corners of the eyes there. And so I started to think, okay, maybe I have, what we, 
I have some skill here, you know, doing this strong. And then, of course, with uh, the Incredible Hulk, I thought, yeah, you know, there's, there's hope for me. I think I can really do this. So here's another one I drew back in 1982. And most of my pictures, you know, they came from magazines. This one's from a Vogue magazine. And uh, you can kind of still see the line right across here where, like, when I would draw, I'd draw a line straight down the middle, then one across through the eyes, one at the bottom of the nose, and then one through the mouth. And that would give me a sense of, of how to draw, where to start from, and make sure that I had them, they had the proportion correctly. It wasn't until a little bit later that I started using a grid, and I used it sparingly. And then here is a rose that uh, I uh, worked on uh, over the past cu couple of years I did. And you can see the date there, 2017. But here's the picture of it. And I really enjoyed uh, drawing this. I didn't want to draw all of this stuff around here. I just wanted the picture of the rose. Okay, and then finally, here is one of the more recent ones. Uh, not as recent as the uh, flower, but uh, it gives you an idea of my skill level as opposed to where I was at when I uh, drew this. You can see the difference. And I think you can see that this looks much more realistic than the picture of, of Sugar Ray Leonard. <coughs> this picture was taken out of a magazine uh, that was probably back in the 50s or the 40s. Excuse me. So the, the little girl here would probably be in her 80s by now if she were still living. Okay, so that is all for now. And so in the next video, uh, we'll talk about the various tools that we'll be using for drawing. That will be in video two. And then in video three, uh, we'll be doing some shading. We'll, we'll do uh, some value scales and... Uh, we will probably work on some spheres and other geometric shapes, shading of those in, the, in video three or in video four. Not exactly sure yet how I'm going to do that, but again, if you like this video, I ask that you hit the like button, you uh, uh, subscribe to it, give us a comment and let me know, you know, you know how you got started with drawing, you know. Uh, is it your passion, you know, or have you been frustrated and you just haven't been able to get past a certain point? Let me know. And then finally, if you like this video, if you got some value out of it, please share it with someone else. Thanks, God bless, and have a nice day.